Millions of people go through life every single day ignoring the fact that they could have a serious health condition. If you're feeling tired, suffer constipation, have foamy urine, joint pain, or any other symptom, you might have a serious health condition. So in today's video, I'm gonna reveal the most common health symptoms you should learn about to discover if you have any of the most common serious health conditions before it's too late. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, I treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to receive notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need to line an appointment of quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com. And I encourage you to stay till the end of this video, where I'm going to reveal extra tips and video links related to this topic. Signs and symptoms are one of the most important tools a doctor has to diagnose a health condition. In many cases, the symptoms and a good clinical history are more than enough to make a diagnosis. And this is great for people like you because if you know your symptoms, you can more or less tell if you're suffering any of these serious health conditions. It might be a headache, stomach pain, frequent urination, constipation, joint pain, and hundreds of other symptoms that are telling you that something is not functioning well. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal the most common health symptoms you should be learning about to discover if you have any of the most common serious health conditions before it's too late. Number one, if you're always tired, you might have a thyroid problem. Hyperthyroidism is a lot more common than you think. Millions of people suffer thyroid disease and don't realize they have this condition at all. And the reason why this happens is because hypothyroidism appears slowly without shouting out there's a real problem with your thyroid hormone regulation. So what is hypothyroidism? You see, we have a gland in the middle front of our neck called the thyroid. This organ is in charge of producing two very important hormones that regulate the activity of every single cell in the body. Heart, liver, digestion, brain, energy production, and even hair or nail production. In other words, the thyroid governs the rate at which every cell in the body is going to function. If you have low thyroid activity, you're gonna feel tired. If your thyroid is overproducing these hormones, you're gonna feel overactive. It's that simple. Some of the symptoms associated with thyroid conditions include feeling tired all the time, fatigue, moodiness, weight gain, vision problems, changes in appetite, poor work performance, among several, several others. If you think you might have this health condition, it's extremely important that you treat it as soon as possible. Your body cannot function properly if it goes untreated for a long period of time. If you need help with this, check out this video where I talk about hypothyroidism and how to treat it naturally. If you need a quality supplement to improve thyroid function, look for Metathyroid from Fineland at DrLandivar.com. This formula contains more than 15 ingredients for a healthy thyroid function. Number two, if you have a foamy urine, you might have a kidney condition. If you have a foamy urine for a long period of time, or it gets worse over time, it's possible you might have a kidney condition. You see, the kidneys have a very delicate filtration system that separates toxins from nutrients while the blood is being filtered. Now, if you're starting to see foam in your urine, this means that the delicate filtration system that we're talking about is probably damaged or becoming damaged. Foam in urine is a very important sign of protein loss. For example, if you mix protein with water and you pour it from above, it tends to make foam. Now, although once in a while it's quite normal to have some foamy urine due to many different causes, if urine is foamy for consecutive days or even weeks, then you should definitely check an appointment with your doctor. I have an entire video on symptoms of kidney disease if you want to check it out right after this episode. And if you need a quality supplement to help improve kidney function, look for Uri Essence and D-Berry from Fineland at DrLandivar.com. These supplements contain more than 20 natural ingredients to keep those kidneys strong and functioning very, very well. Number three, if you're constipated, you might be magnesium deficient. This is something millions of people suffer every single day. If you're not having at least one bowel movement per day, you might be constipated. And in case you didn't know this, magnesium is a very important mineral in the digestive system. What it does is activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is a branch of the autonomic nervous system in charge of accelerating the frequency of your bowel movements. This is a reason why many people with constipation might be also magnesium deficient. 
The simple supplementation of magnesium can fix this digestive condition. It's very simple. So my advice to you, if you don't have normal daily bowel movements, take a magnesium supplement. It's that simple. If you can, choose a good quality magnesium like Magnezide from Fineland, which you can find at DrLandivar.com, or eat plenty of foods that are rich in magnesium, especially leafy green vegetables. Number four, if you're urinating too frequently, you might have diabetes. Frequent urination is one of the most important symptoms in diabetes. In medicine, we call this polyuria. You see, if the body is experiencing a buildup of sugar concentration in the blood, it starts to activate any mechanism it can to help excrete that excess sugar out of the body. And kidney filtration is one of them. Peeing a lot is a hallmark sign for both diabetes type 2 and type 1. Although there's no specific amount of times you should be peeing on a daily basis, frequent urination is usually defined as having to go to urinate more frequently than you normally do. So be careful if this is something that's happening to you, it could be a symptom of diabetes. If you need a quality supplement for diabetes, look for metaglucose at drlandivar.com. And check out this video on diabetes symptoms right after this episode. Very, very important. Number five, if you wake up in the morning with joint pain, you might have arthritis. If you're waking up in the morning with joint pain in your hands, feet, elbows, or your knees, you might have arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is an inflammatory condition that affects your ability to move and enjoy your daily activities. You see, arthritis has an important characteristic, and it's that pain and tenderness are usually experienced in a symmetrical pattern. This means that pain and stiffness, usually in both hands, both knees, etc. One of the best home remedies for arthritis and any type of other joint pain for that matter is turmeric. This natural anti-inflammatory herb is wonderful. Turmeric is the king when it comes to inflammatory conditions in the body. So look for turmeric and if you need a quality supplement for inflammation and joint pain, look for Curcu Health and Extra Flex from Fineland. So again, turmeric is wonderful. If you need an excellent quality supplement for inflammation and joint pain, look for Curcu Health at drlandivar.com. The supplement has an optimal concentration of bioactive curcumin and bioperin to potentiate that absorption. If you need a natural treatment for bone pain or arthritis, check out this video right after this episode. Number six, if you have stomach discomfort, you might be having gastritis. If you're experiencing burning sensations in your stomach with pain, bloating, burping, etc., you might have gastritis. The problem with gastritis is that if you decide not to treat it, this common health condition can evolve and later on form stomach cancer. So if you're feeling any of these symptoms I just mentioned a minute ago, I strongly suggest you do something about it. I have an entire video on how to treat gastritis naturally if you need help with this right after this episode. Curing gastritis needs a change in diet and supplements, but it can be done, so give it a try. Probillion D enzymes and GI balance from Phylan can help alleviate your stomach symptoms and improve gastritis effectively. Number seven, if you have any darkening of your skin, you might have a metabolic syndrome. In case you didn't know this, metabolic syndrome can lead to diabetes. And a good way to recognize if you have this condition is observing if there's any darkening of your skin. Acanthosis nigricans, which is the darkening of the skin in certain areas of the body, is a very common early sign and symptom that the body is experiencing insulin resistance, which later leads to diabetes. The affected areas in the body, which may include armpits, neck, elbows, knees, lips, etc., can also itch or have a specific odor. If you see this sign, your doctor may want to check for diabetes or insulin resistance as a potential cause. These tests may include blood glucose tests or even fasting insulin results. Metaglucose is a supplement specially designed to improve insulin resistance and decrease blood sugar levels in the body. You can find it at drlandivar.com. Number eight, if you have a dry or rough skin, you might be vitamin C deficient. In case you didn't know this yet, vitamin C plays a key role in collagen production and therefore skin quality. Collagen is abundant in connective tissues and including the skin, hair, joints, bones, and even blood vessels. You see, when vitamin C levels are low, a skin condition known as keratosis pilaris can develop. During this condition, a bumpy or chicken skin can form in the back of the upper arms or the thighs due to a buildup of keratin protein inside the pores. Keratosis pilaris can be caused by a vitamin C deficiency, and it can appear after three to five months of a low vitamin C intake. 
but can later resolve after adequate supplementation. To obtain that daily dose of vitamin C, make sure to take a fresh squeezed lemon every morning. If you have difficulty using citrus fruits or lemons every morning, I suggest you find a good multivitamin formula that has real fruit extracts, something like multivitamin from Finland. This formula contains 42 different extracts from real organic fruit, and on top of that, all the vitamins and minerals you need for proper bodily function. You can find multivitamin at drlandivar.com. And help out the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or align an appointment, visit drlandivar.com. And I suggest you check out these other videos related to this topic. You're going to find valuable information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you soon.